pay yourself first and go flip it. I am your platform partner, your hustling homie. And this video, I want to tell you why I decided to go on an intermittent fast. In a three-day fast, I didn't eat any food. I'm going to tell you what it did to me, what I learned from it, how it can help you. But first, damn, I'm about to sit on the stool, but it ain't even been flushed. So that's a sign that I don't even need to get it. I was going to get on the toilet and talk my talk, but I'm going to go back in the other room. All right, let's get directly into it. So first and foremost, you may be saying, Jackson, why in the hell would you go three days and not eat? Well... At the beginning of the year, what I wanted to do was a total reset. I wanted to change everything in my life. Let me sit down so I can talk to y'all for real. All right. Okay. So I'm sitting now. So at the beginning of the year, what I wanted to really do is I wanted to change my life. And I, want, I needed a breakthrough. Have you ever been in a position where you just needed things to change? You needed a breakthrough. You needed something different to happen. And that's exactly where I was at. After doing a bunch of personal development, I mean, reading books, um, just going out, uh, constantly doing certain exercises. It was good, but I found myself still not being able to break through. And so I said, I have to do something different, upgrade. And what I realized, and I talk about this in the book, is one of the most powerful things that anybody could do. If you want to control your universe, you start by controlling your mind, by controlling your body. This is what most people do not want to do. Most people, you, they're not going to go five, six hours without putting something in their mouth. And I'm not judging those people because I've been there. I've been that person constantly wanting to eat. And I understand that uh, we all got our weaknesses. So I'm not trying to say... Good, bad, right, or wrong. But what I am saying is I know I needed to do something different that was going to be tr very transformational. And I'm a big believer that um, in life we're always going to transform. You're either going to do it the hard way or you're going to do it the easy way. All right. Now, but it's going to happen. All right. You're going to pay a little or you can pay a lot. But you're going to pay. You're going to pay something. So if you don't want to pay in a major way, by being forced to change, you have to start transforming yourself. You got to kill the old self and give your body an update. The same way your phone does an update, you got to give your body an update. And that's what a what fasting was for me. So um, first, let me say this. So as I'm talking, I may do some B-roll and have other clips in the background. If y'all want to see that, I'll try to do that. But this is kind of just a candid video of me talking. But anyway... So I, I'm going to say what I experienced and then I'll make a, the end of the video where I talk a little bit about maybe what you can do. And then if you want to, I'll make a whole nother separate video about how you can do something like this with detail. So for me to make a long story short, it was one of the best things I ever did in my life, period, was doing an intermittent fast. One of the best things ever in my life. And it was very because it was so difficult um, by the third day. It was getting easy, to be honest. It was very difficult. First day, I thought I was going to die. I thought I thought it was over with like that first 24 hours. I was starving. Um, I couldn't sleep. I was waking up in the middle of the night. I, f I mean, even that next day, like day two, like that night, two days having eaten. I mean, I was I had got into the car with my mom. I never forget. My mom came by my house. I got into the car with her and she had bought, she was like, come on. She didn't know I was fasting. So that's the trick. Don't tell people that you're fasting a lot of times because that can hurt. So that helped me. So I didn't tell anybody. I get in the car with my mom. She's like, can you make, take a ride with me? Cool. She says, I'm going to Giordano's to grab some pizza. I'm like, hmm. So she went and grabbed this pizza and now I'm going crazy because the pizza we're in the car and she's bought the pizza in the car with us. And it's just sitting in the back seat, just smelling and glistening all over my body, all over my nose. Right. So I told my mom, I said, mom, I got to get out this car because I'm fasting. And my mom, she starts talking to me. She said, man, when I, she said, you must get that from me, because when you were a kid, I used to fast all the time while I was praying for you. 
And I said, wow, I didn't know that, mom. And so I said, well, look, mama, well, you can understand. Won't you let me get a slice of that pizza then? How about that? Nope, 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 no slice. So cool. She didn't give me a slice of pizza. So at this point is when I say, um, you know what? I got to get the hell out of this car. So I got out the car and I'll be honest, it was one of the best breakthroughs I had because once I got out the car, yes, I wanted the pizza. I felt like my mom was disrespecting me. I wanted to fight her, but I promise, because remember I hadn't eaten for two days at this point, but, and I had started saying to myself, when I break this fast, I'm going to get this pizza. I had already been saying, I'm going to get pizza. I'm going to get pizza. That's what I'm going to do because it smells so good. But I promise you, I went to sleep. The next morning, everything changed. I felt strong because it's like I sat right next to the temptation. This is temptation and this is me. Hey, I'm sitting right there too. And once I beat it, boom, I felt stronger than ever to the point where I could have kept going on the fast. I felt like I could have went another three days. And the only reason I stopped the only reason I stopped because it was my son's birthday. Uh, him and I, our birthdays are a day apart. And I wanted to take him out to eat while he was on Christmas break. And so I took him out to eat. And literally, I only had, I had some soup. So I broke my fast with a little bit of soup. And I had like a, a jerk chicken wing or something. And honestly, I went right back into the fast after that. And I felt so strong. I felt just more clarity in my life. I felt smarter. And I kind of felt like an animal. I felt like I was in a forest. And, and so I would purposely exercise and work during the fast. So I haven't eaten two days, three days, but I'm still doing push-ups. I'm still doing jumping jacks. I'm still doing a little bit of jump rope, which you may say is crazy. Why would you do that to yourself? But I did it because I was I wanted to totally break my comfort zone and just reprogram my body. I wanted to put myself mentally in a state like I'm in the woods and like the walking dead and I got to survive. And if you can't find food, you still got to exercise and fight. So I knew if I did that, it'll give me a mental and a physical new body that would just make me more strong and just closer to God too. Not only would I be a beast, but I would be closer to God because now I realize I'm stronger than my body. I tell my body what's to do, not first, not. So there's other videos that could break down all of the benefits of fasting, whether it be you know, overcoming certain diseases, um, whether it be diabetes or certain cancers, or you may have some people just tell you a spiritual connection with God. Some people will say you lose weight. Some people will say you gain more muscle. Uh, so it's a lot of benefits. But for me, I wasn't in it for at first I was in it trying to do a lot of that. But by the time I really got deep into it, it became bigger than just that. It became the spiritual journey. And I was just humble, you know, I had to sit down and I sit down, I was, I broke down, cried and uh, just had to, you know, really just, just, just really get in deep into my connection with God and that greater power. And uh, so I want to encourage you, you're thinking about it, do it. Um, if you want me to tell you a little bit more specific about how you can benefit from that fast and like what you can do. And suggestions that I would make, like how do you get through it, like in terms of if did I drink any liquids, because this was an all water fast. We can do that. Just leave it in the comment section. I got your back and we'll do that. But overall, I just want to share this quick story with you so that you know that you're not in these journeys by yourself. You have people all around the world that are just like you. And, uh, you know, we hustling and working together. So with that being said, subscribe to the page. I appreciate y'all support. This is like my personal page. I talk about whatever. My primary page, though, is Hustle Headquarters. That's where we really go in and detail with all type of stuff. So if you want to see more of that, the more higher production editing stuff, go to Hustle Headquarters. You'll see me, Dr. Jackson 360, in that order. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. Peace. Subscribe. Share the video. Peace. Okay, this motherfucker don't want to stop. Okay, he's